Cedric, my favorite general. Cedric, I finally have a name. Theme song selfishly takes away two minutes of our time. Boy, the transition from soft image to Maya was rough. I may never get over Bob and Larry's tiny pupils. These Bob and Larry imposters are still more convincing than the ones on the podcast. Why does a cardboard cutout need band-aids? I could understand duct tape or rubber bands, but band-aids? What, does the cardboard bleed? Hubert? Who's gonna name their kid Hubert? My sincerest apologies to Huberts everywhere. We figured you needed a break. I just had a break. I don't need another one. This is neat continuity after two episodes without a countertop, but considering the next episode has no countertop, the one after that has a different host, and the one after that barely qualifies as an episode at all, all I can say is, too bad, Bob, you are getting another break. We've been wanting to host a show ever since Dave and the Giant Pickle. Of all the incredibly specific callbacks they could have made, why did they pick that one? Hmm, I wonder. Break a leg. Other than your own? The artistic merits and comedic genius of the Englishman who went up a hill and came down with all the bananas needs no words, and I dare not spoil it for you. 10 out of 10. Somebody turned off QWERTY! Uh, who turned off QWERTY?! Better question, why can't you turn on QWERTY? Sure, you try to do it with several keyboard combinations, but it never occurred to you to look for a power button first? I normally don't question the invisible hands, but how exactly did Jerry lose his grip on the sign here? I wouldn't even ask if the sign had just completely dropped, but the way it almost slips out of his invisible fingers kind of bugs me. What are the logistics here? Larry tries to shake off Jimmy and Jerry's performance, but secretly, he is just as insulted as Bob. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of King George without a towel, I said without a towel, am I the only one who first saw that as a wide open mouth instead of a goatee? You know, any other merch-based children's show at the time would have tried selling this as a princess bed, but Larry somehow rocks these colors. First the Susie action jeep, now this. Seems like an impressive shot, until you see the exact line where the 3D models end and the matte painting begins. I must have it, I must get it, you must go and get it for me. Look, I'm all about songs that don't necessarily teach the right lesson, but I'm gonna send this one because Big Idea had the nerve to use it like this. Can't get enough of your favorite VeggieTales music? I must have it, I must get it, you Then must don't go miss this newest collection with- You already have quite a few duckies! Hold on, wait a minute, I'm starting to remember this story. Wasn't there some kind of god-given rule that you could only have one ducky? No, 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 was it, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's ducky? <laughs> Hang on. Bear with me, I'll figure this one out. To say I can't have what I want, you couldn't be more wronger. It's more wrong, uh, not more wronger. Congratulations, my dedicated subscribers, y'all get a D. Ah, Patrick! Scallion number one finally gets a name and he never uses it again. Thought you could hide your recycled animation behind a mirror, didn't you? King George's entire plan to get rid of Thomas and take his ducky is fundamentally flawed. Sure, putting Thomas in the pie war gets him out of the way for a while, but at some point the war will end, he'll go back home, find out his ducky is gone, and that's when the criminal investigations begin. This power-hungry tyrant is incredibly short-sighted, and that's what makes him the most realistic character in this episode. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Laddie. Skip! You would think the royalty arrow would point up to the sky, not down to the ground. I hear police sirens, but what could they possibly do to stop their king? This little fellow single-handedly stopped the advancing horde. He did? Never underestimate Junior's power to stop ginormous enemies that grown adults never could. I bet all he had to do was just scream about what he learned today and poof, they're all gone. Cobbler in the hole! Get the back! I'm afraid he's lost his mind, sire. Uh, the trauma of war. Of all the things I never expected to see in Veggie Tales, a grown man in power giving a young child long-term PTSD just to steal the kid's bath toy is somewhere in my top 20. Are you the only one you think about? I've been thinking about this ducky since Thomas has lost his marbles. He won't be needing it. That almost sounds like something Mr. Nezer would say to rationalize his terrible decisions, and I really don't know how to feel about that. You remember me. I am Melvin, that slightly odd wise man who shows up every so- The guest at the house of the rich man clips through the sheep at the house of the rich man. King George, you are bad. Hero? Uh, hey, Melvin, you sorta of just walked out without taking your flannel graph? Oh well, guess it's mine now. Nope, still mine! Yeah, I knew I'd be back in two minutes, so I didn't bother moving it! Uh, that was my plan the whole time! <laughs> Being selfish doesn't pay. I tried it just the other day. You tried it a few hours ago. Was there a big time skip I missed? Hello! I am Bob the Tomato! 
Did you ever wonder why Esther didn't have a countertop sequence? Rumor has it the French P's performance was so disastrous that it had to be cut for the health and safety of the audience. Hmm, I still feel like I'm forgetting something. Some dark truth behind the scenes that changes the entire context of this episode. Something that would make all their talk about owning several duckies, coveting thy neighbor's ducky, kidnapping duckies in the dead of night, all duckies looking the same, and King George giving his old duckies away to anyone who wanted one seem highly insensitive and absurdly problematic. But how? Oh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. What could it possibly be? Uh, oh, I got it! The bathtub is full of ginger ale. That's the sin I was missing. Phew! Crisis averted. <laughs>